everything I've seen on camera and everything I see around me it just feels like somebody's really thought this through from design to the concept of what world we're in. Imagine if Europe was taken over by Africa. <laughs> Norton Crosses is set in this world that's, from the crosses point of view, is filled with life, and culture, and it's beautiful when it all comes together. We introduce texture into this world, texture and colour, because that's a very African thing. It's the motif of our culture in Africa that you find almost everywhere. The most easy one on the eye would be the kente, but also using the Adinkra symbols that marriage of Western civilization with African culture. As a Nigerian myself, it's something that I appreciate because thought and care has gone into it. The North world is a little bit toned down, I guess. Slightly more drab than cross world as to reflect the sort of drudgery, I think, in a visual sense. It's not unlike the world that I grew up in, except it's reversed. You've taken a group of the population and you've subjugated them, you've excluded them from the economy, you know, and advancement. I just applied everything about South Africa to the North. When we looked at location, South Africa seemed to be the right and appropriate place to go. It has a very useful colonial history that means that there is a combination of European and African influences. It's just amazing just to see what Europe would have looked like if it was the other way around. Not that it would have been a good thing if it was the other way around, regardless. One of the big challenges we actually had was making Cape Town look like London. It wasn't easy, but in the same breath, it was a lot of fun. The biggest thing that we had to deal with was palm trees, especially when we were shooting in the park. It's like, come on, guys. You know, I'm sure there's palm trees in Kew Gardens, you know? <laughs> the locations have been amazing. There's an authenticity to it. And I mean this in the best way. There's a kind of chaos. It seems to kind of really suit the feel of the show and like how we're filming it. We've got a great set at Wertmüller Center, which is this crazy mall that was built by Rolf Eisenbergard. There's crazy ramps and stuff everywhere, and you're not quite sure where you are. And then you sort of get into this world, which looks, you know, clean lines and big glass windows and things like that. For people watching the show, it's going to constantly remind them that they are not living in this world. Ireo. Ireo. <laughs> In the script, we use a lot of Yoruba words. The purpose of that is to show that everyone in this world speaks a first language that isn't English. A lot of the Yoruba is just small things like greetings and, and etiquette rather than whole sentences. Happy birthday, Mama. Hey, it's you. Being on set and greeting someone saying Bawanita, someone that probably would never have said that before, saying Ashego and saying thank you, it's nice because when it's happening offset as well as on set, it means it's something that people actually care about learning from is happening. It's not just language, it also comes with a presence and how you say it and how that affects your body. What I wanted to add to the world was behaviour traits. You know, a big discussion was, you know, how the Africans act, how the Europeans act. But it's about working with the black actors and focusing on how an African man would dominate. It's not the same as a European. West African language is very expressive. You could see a conversation between two Nigerian Yoruba men talking on a bus and you might think they're about to fight, but actually it's just a very normal conversation. So it's about those nuances, adding that to the world. Maggie's husband, uh, yeah, we yes, met before. Sorry, yes, I'm, one meets so many people. Yes, one does. We are really just digging out the subtleties which someone who hasn't been through such an oppression would never know. It's going to be interesting to see our world Africanized, to see what it would be like to be a majority ruled by a minority. I think that's fascinating. And I think for young black people, it would be wonderful to see what it's like to be in power and, and to ask yourself the question, what would you do? How would you be? Who's that? Reckon your cross friend's going to love playing with you, toy soldier. Are you scared? Soldier boy. Noughts and Crosses. All episodes streaming now on BBC iPlayer. <laughs>